Welcome to Audit Archive, where we run you through some of the most questionable and rather atrocious police encounters. Today, we're looking at a case where two female officers assaulted a man involved in an accident after he called for help and then illegally arrested him just because he stood up for his rights. On January 8, 2021, a man was driving home in his personal vehicle when he mistakenly took a wrong turn, which resulted in his car getting pulled up off the railroad tracks. Essentially, his car was stuck on the tracks, and he was unable to maneuver it out in any way. So, naturally, the man dialed 911. Dispatchers with the Tampa Police Department took his call and promptly advised patrolling units to help out and assist. A few minutes later, two Tampa police officers located the man and made contact with him, immediately showing a rather distasteful demeanor. This entire encounter was captured on one of the officer's body cams, which we will now review. Okay, so I'm trying to find. I'm trying to see where my girlfriend. I need my girlfriend to know where I'm at. I'm sure. We're asking you what happened. Can you get off the phone, please? We're trying to figure out what happened here. Well, I tried to turn, make, make this turn, and I thought it was this turn. Um, it was dark, and I made this turn instead. Long story short, is I ended up off the tracks, and that's where I'm at now. So that's why I'm stuck now, and I can't move back or forward at all. I was asking them to not send a police cruiser. I wanted them to send me a tow truck to be able to pull me out, but I have trouble right, in myself. Drunk, but it doesn't work that way. I'm sorry? Because you're drunk, but it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. I'm sorry? You heard me? Like you're three. Can I you heard you. Time? But that didn't make no sense at all. No, I'm not drunk. Okay. November, Mike, Mike, Quebec, 5-3. It's a black Okay, awesome. so we do have... Uh, all right. As seen in the footage, the man was speaking to his girlfriend on his phone when the officers arrived, but he was immediately asked to put his phone down. This typically would have made sense if the man was being detained and placed in handcuffs, but of course, such was not the case here, as it couldn't be justified. It's generally understood that, in order to justify a detention, an officer must be able to articulate specific facts that led to a reasonable suspicion that the suspect is involved in criminal activity. But in this case, it's illogical to suspect him of a crime when it's evidently a mere accident. Nobody was reportedly hurt, and there was no victim whatsoever. What's worse is that one of the officers accused the man of being drunk, apparently just by the looks of it. She mentioned no odor of alcohol and didn't provide any backing to her claim. The man was quick to make it clear that he was not drunk, but this could still be debatable. I want my radio. You have your I'm my radio and uh, it's not a traffic stop. I called you out here. You know, it's far from memory rights. It's a crash. It's not a crash at all. I it is. It's, it's a crash. crash. It's it's a Who's the, Who's, the Who's the victim? Who's the victim? License, registration, insurance. CSX. CSX is the victim. Do you not see what happened? They are the victim right now. Are they the victim They're right now? They're having to stop their trains because. No, you... I know black and white how it goes. Law, I know exactly you are how it very goes. Ignorant. License, registration. They know me license and lounge. It's all right in there, but I'm not gonna give it to you until I need to. Right now, you need to. I'm at Meridian and Jackson. Note that the officers claim that there was in fact a victim, and that this situation would be classified as a crash, not an accident. Bear in mind that there is actually a difference between a crash and an accident when it comes to law enforcement practices. It stated that, if you were in a car accident, how a crash and an accident is defined could mean a world of difference in your car accident case. The word accident implies that a car crash happened through the fault of nobody in particular. This can be seen in the commonly used phrase, it was just an accident. On the other hand, the word crash indicates that someone caused the car wreck to happen, or that someone is actually at fault. Judging by this, we can argue that the man was involved in an accident, not a crash, particularly because there was no indication that he intentionally caused the car to be in that position or that he was engaging in any criminal activity. It was simply an unintended event, resulting from an error in navigation. Apart from this, since the officers claimed that it was a crash, they demanded the man's ID presumably because they were allegedly investigating an accident. Note that under Section 316.065, Florida Statutes, drivers who were involved in a collision must report it to the police if one of the following are true. The crash caused at least $500 in vehicle or property damage. The crash caused injury or death. Taking this into account, it's clear that there was no obligation for the officers to do a report of any sort, and considering that he was not legally detained, 
he had no reason to provide any ID to the officers. Plus, keep in mind that he dialed 911 to ask for help, not an investigation. But this is where the encounter took a ridiculous turn. Watch as one of the officers suddenly assaulted the man without a warning and then proceeded to unlawfully arrest him with the help of her fellow officer. Both then searched through his vehicle without a warrant or any form of consent, displaying yet another unconstitutional act against their policy since the arrest was invalid anyway. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. She's pulling the knife you out of your pocket. Why yeah, did you just, why did you, no, no, no. What are you talking about, bro? You just pushed her. No, I didn't. Victor, are you kidding me? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Are you serious? Yeah. I called you guys. And Doesn't I said, what's the phone calling you? Yes, I did. Somebody else no, called. No, no, no. I know the two boys that called you before school, and then I called you afterwards. I call you for help and I get arrested. That is crazy. Why didn't you do it? You are the aggressive one. You just touched my part. You are. It's on you video, so you, you can say whatever you want. That's fine. You are the aggressive. You. As a person who did not want to provide his information when we got here. It's all right there. It's all right there. Right there. I'm not your bitch. I don't go to your no, car. No, I called you shit. for help. I didn't call you to be arrested. I called you for help. I called you for help. Well, here we are. And and if you would listen did. to instructions, you would not be arrested. No, I didn't call you to listen to nobody. I called you for help. I needed some help. I needed assistance. Victor, three. We need a 1031 for that Kia. I got the insurance and I got his license and you have his phone. <sighs> As we've just seen, one of the officers gave no warnings whatsoever and suddenly reached into the man's trousers to allegedly remove a knife. In other words, the officer tried to take his personal property from him for seemingly no reason at all. The man was clearly not posing a threat to either officer and did not once reach for the knife or even let his hands get close. Remember that the man was not detained, so the officers didn't have the right to even question him, let alone assault him by reaching into his trousers and pulling on them. This was a blatant violation of his Fourth Amendment, which states that the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrant shall issue, but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. In this case, they had not only unreasonably searched him and his vehicle, but they had also seized him in the form of an arrest as he was now in handcuffs placed in the back of a patrol vehicle. Another crucial point worth noting is that the officers accused the man of pushing one of them. This was utterly false. 
Let's replay the instance where the man allegedly pushed the officer. Right now you need to. I'm in Meridian and Jackson. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. She's pulling the knife you out of your pocket. Yeah, Why did you just, did. Why did you, no, no, no. It's very clear that the man merely brushed the officer's hand away in a natural response for her trying to reach into his trousers. This could arguably be justified, especially since the officers did not warn him or ask him about the knife before reaching for it. Most individuals would have reacted in a similar manner. Regardless, the following events simply made it even more obvious that the officers were no less than tyrants and had absolutely no good intentions in this encounter. Watch as the officers refused to loosen up the man's handcuffs, even though he complained about them causing him pain numerous times. Note that refusing to loosen his handcuffs could constitute cruel treatment. In the United States, the Eighth Amendment prohibits the government from inflicting cruel and unusual punishments. Although this provision is often associated with the punishments meted out after a conviction, it also applies to the treatment of individuals who have been detained or arrested. Plus, the National Institute of Health emphasizes the importance of addressing pain derived from handcuffs. It stated that complaints of pain after use of handcuffs should not be dismissed and that it is not unusual for them to be applied in violent circumstances and for the prisoner to struggle. This can lead to over-tightening of the handcuffs and considerable trauma to the structures around the wrist. We have recently seen fractures, lacerations, and injuries to the radial, ulnar, and median nerves. This is probably the tip of the iceberg, as many people with such injuries fail to attend for assessment, follow-up, or investigation. Now, let's see what the officers had to say to the man's girlfriend, who managed to make her way to the scene. Listen closely, because the officers contradict themselves and lie several times here. Obviously, an accident because your tires have to make yeah, contact. Yeah, because I'm like, I right. can't understand this. I can't. This is an accident. He, he, he hit something that made him end up like that, right? So, we asked for his driver's license, his mm -hmm. registration, insurance, and he said no. I he has a knife right here, and he keeps putting his hands where you are, so I went to take the knife, and he pushed her. So, that is why he's arrested. We can't, he's obviously drunk. We can't do anything about the DUI. But, like we said, this is a crash, and he pushed her. Okay. And, like, how did... I'm trying to figure out, like, how did this happen, like... He won't tell us, though. So. It's, like, why 10 feet south Jackson. And he pushed you? I yes. can't believe he pushed somebody. Huh? Well, well he's drunk, so... People. And he pushed you? No, he no, pushed me. Him. That's why he's going to jail. Car's being towed. And that's that. That's the only thing he's getting charged with. He's battering a lot of person also. We can't we don't we can't charge him with a DUI, unfortunately. So he got lucky in that aspect. It seems as if the reason behind their tyranny was slowly being uncovered. From the conversation the three ladies were having, we can quite easily tell that both officers were quite unhappy and dissatisfied with the fact that they couldn't arrest the man for DUI. This is because he was not present inside the vehicle at the time the officers arrived meaning they had no evidence to charge him with DUI. So, knowing the DUI charge was out of the question, both officers likely wanted to escalate the situation in a way that would land the man in jail, which they did. 
He was now being charged with battery on a law enforcement officer, a third degree felony under Florida Statute 784.07. But then there's damage to the bottom of it. I could pull it out. I could take it home. I mean, like, not to his home. Note that the vehicle was certainly not totaled. This was a baseless assumption made by the officer. It was very likely that the officers wanted the car towed no matter what, simply out of retaliation. He's an adult, and these are the consequences. Yeah, I know. He's a big baby. Trust me, a tow truck is a lot cheaper than the $10,000 DUI. DUI that he would have gotten had he been sitting in that driver's seat. Yeah. Okay. But now we need to start doing the paperwork and stuff, so... I, I, I'll get out of y'all. Okay. Out of you guys. Alright. Have a good night. He's in the back. You can't Alright, so we're going to Okay, well, he's being 1015 due to the circuit four originally, so it's a crash, and it can be ordered this way. Look, uh, excuse me, ma'am. What? Can I tell my girlfriend something? No. Okay, sorry. Right. No. Why are you on the phone with that? That would be me using my discretion and being courteous, which I don't have to do. Exactly, because I don't need to. You've given me no reason to go out of my way to do anything for you. I don't care. I'm a citizen too. Yeah, but you work for the citizen. You work for people. I don't have to be courteous to someone who pushed me. I didn't push you. Stop it. It's on video, so whatever. Take it to court. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You also wouldn't give us the information we asked for, the so. The information is for you. You have it right now, already. So now what is the issue? Your pride, that's it? You work for the people, and your pride is what makes you... I work for the city. I don't work for the people. You work for the people. As if her tyrannical and retaliatory behavior wasn't enough, the officer just admitted on body cam that she does not work for the people, implying that she could care less about the citizens, which she proved in this encounter. No. We pay your tax. We pay your I tax. pay my we pay taxes it. too. Oh, don't worry. I'm requesting everything. All of them. Go ahead. I'm going to request everything. I don't want them all of them. All of okay. Good for you. Damn. Okay. We should have no cuss at all. You don't, want, you don't want to treat citizens we right at all. We will check them. Give us a second. No, second at all. You've had thousands of seconds. So well, you called your cuffs. girlfriend to come over here, so we had to deal with her. I don't yeah, know what she's going to do. I asked you to listen to the cuffs. No, you didn't. You said It's okay. It's okay. Where's this from? You're too much pride. You have too much pride. You don't understand too much that I too much for the damn people, bro. You tell me these people are about it. Give it time. Ma'am, step away from the car. Okay. Well, you need to put that back. So. I just turned the car off because okay. there's a gotcha. Can I have the keys back? Oh. Thank you. you. You can't go in the car. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. No, yeah, I didn't. Okay. Can you please step I'm away sorry. now? Thank I'm you. Sorry. Let me see the cups. If you want me to listen. There's no purpose of calling y'all. Please look, there's no purpose of calling y'all. I'm doing it myself. Hey, bitch, you can go to jail. 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 They don't come and harass and arrest. Why call them? I have AAA already too, and I told them I have AAA. I'm going to even use them. I have three more moves that I can move on them. I pay for it yearly. 
everything is registered. My my, my license, my registration, That's everything is fine. Yeah, it's but everything is fine. But you just want your damn, you just want your, uh, uh, you want to get your, uh, thing for your arrest. You know, like, damn. Yeah. Ultimately, the man was taken to jail and booked for battery on a law enforcement officer. No further updates have been made as of the date of this recording, and it's unclear whether the charge was dropped or not. Be sure to check out our previous video, where we cover another outrageous police encounter.